right, we okay. are fully disarmed. Uh oh. Arm it. Oh! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Rotorite, where we are all about flying FPV drones, doing all sorts of crazy things with these, sometimes crashing them, but you know what? When you do a hobby long enough, eventually you like to, you wanna customize your gear, right? And there's all sorts of little things that you can do. On my radio, you can get different stick ends to change the look and the feel, some rip tape on the side to make it, you know, have a little more tactileness. You know, on the goggles, check this out, Rotorite goggle strap available in the store, link in the description. But if you wanna get a little bit more wild, it's really fun to to like make things and do something like really unique. So like on my front here, this is real carbon fiber that I like grafted onto the front plate. Very few people have something like this and I just love how like special that is. But I wanna come up with something even more special. I wanna take it to the next, next level. I wanna do something that not only makes the gear unique to me, but makes it so that it only works for me. But I'm gonna call for some help on this one. I'm gonna phone a friend. I'm gonna call up Hack Make Mod. These guys do all sorts of weird little projects like making vacuum cleaners out of water jugs and turning Bluetooth speakers into logs. Stuff that no one asked for, but they did it anyway. So when you got something really off the wall that you wanna put together, these are the guys for the job. So I'm gonna call these guys up and see if we can come up with something really unique, really special, something that makes it only work for me. I'm Brandon. And I'm Chad. And Chad, I found this in your closet. Can you tell what, me what this is? What are you doing in my closet? Don't worry about it, bud. That's my fingerprint reader. Yeah. So okay. you want to put this on a drone controller so yeah. not just anyone can come pick it up and fly your drone. Bingo. Sounds like kind of a simple task, but the more I started thinking about it, the more difficult I think it's going to be. And here's why. Because this is a DJI controller and everything DJI does is complicated. <laughs> so I know when I get into this, I'm gonna be cutting into a computer and I'm gonna try to make modifications so that it can always be undone. How are we gonna go about doing that? We got the fingerprint reader, which is pretty nice. It does a lot of the heavy lifting. It can store fingerprint files in it and it can identify if the fingerprint is one of those files. But from there, all the controlling and button pushes and stuff that you might have to automate after that, you'll have to do with an Arduino. It's not an actual Arduino, it's an ESP8266, so it's a, it uses Arduino code. So we'll print a little case to make things nice and tidy and then we'll stick that on the back. And that should be everything. So this three position switch here has two wires coming out of it and each wire can either be high or low. That results in four possible states for this to be in. But because of the way the switch works, we actually can only ever have three of them. So we know from the notes that Drew sent us that if the switch is to the right, which is position three, it'll reset the scanner altogether, no matter what. If it's in the middle, this fingerprint scanner will just run its default code as normal, checking against whatever it can. And then when it finds a good match, it'll stop itself from running. Then all we need to check for is if it is running or not. Because if it's not running, that means it already found a good match. So if it's not running and the switch is over here, it's on. I can't believe it. So now you just need to get it off the breadboard and into the box. Yes! So cool! <laughs> so now if we put it in the middle position, now it's unlocked, so that shows you that it's unlocked and you have visual status saying that it's unlocked. And if I wanna arm it, I'm pretty excited. This is one of the coolest projects we've done. Look how cool it looks. <laughs> Got it all in this safe container. We're headed to Florida.
Drew, oh, and just oh. the man I wanted to see. How's oh. it hanging, my man? Just, you guys just came Special right in. delivery. Yeah, the guy didn't care that we just walked through I'm the door. To, I'm gonna have to check on my security. We've yeah, got yeah. what you requested. What'd you we get got me? what you requested. The fingerprint activated remote control. You've got your finger here. You're already holding it like this. Hop your finger on. I and if feel it, that. I would not have thought of this, but seeing it, I'm like, that is pretty clever. Because yeah. like, while you're holding the radio, you can just be like, boop. We got a nice Boop. little 3D printed Boop. housing, the jet black. I like the I like the pin here you got on there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. emblem. Highwaywatch.com. That is really slick how you built a port into the radio that looks like it was there. Yes. Oh, yeah. And it receives power from the radio. Real? Okay, so there's no other battery in here? Nope. So I told you I used this switch for arming. Yes, you gave us very specific instructions. I'm very particular about my arming. This is for my drone. I want it to be unique exactly. to me. So we've basically hotwired the switch and interrupted it so that if you flip it to the arm switch, it's not going to send a signal to your controller unless okay. The fingerprint has been activated, okay. but in order to do that, we're gonna need your fingerprints. You can't just get on my the finger. laptop. Okay, so you didn't just download my fingerprints from like a police database? No, or something? we couldn't find no. them. You're you're, you're pretty a, you're under a, the radar. Yeah, you're clean. We are running two separate scripts at different times. We have one script for recording your fingerprints and another script for actually running the process that you want, which is locking your controller up if you are not the right person. Okay, so there's not like someone could even pick this up and just register their fingerprint. You've got to load a custom script to do right, it. Absolutely. So, so once this is set up, this really is mine. All right, so that's plugged in. I like the red light. We're gonna load the enroll script, which is the one that actually records your data. So now it's gonna say, pick a number between one and 128. Uh -huh. It can store up to 128 fingerprints. So I we'll think just I'll do... just do really these three, because I feel like it'd be one of these three fingers okay. mm -hmm. that I would hit on the radio. Yeah. So we'll start with number one. Okay, we'll make that my pointer. It's gonna ask you to scan your finger. Okay. Scan it up. Scanned. Now it's gonna ask you to do it one more time to verify. So just the same finger again. Oh, it's kind of like on when you did Touch ID on the iPhone. It would well, like get different angles. Not or... quite. So you need. It just needs to check if they match. Okay. Did so, it get? So yes. All right. So yep. that matched. So that matched. You're so that, good. that one's done. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now if you wanted to be like extra thorough, you could do the same finger again at a different, like different angle. Like different angles. Yeah, gotcha, okay, okay, okay. But for now, let's go to the next finger. Okay. We'll do that one. So first we did this finger. Next we'll, oh, 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 oh. So number two, so that one. Okay, so it read, and now go ahead and do it one more time. And there you go. So and you can just on. keep doing this for as many fingers as you want. Okay. I, could, I could even do it for my finger. No, no, this is for me only. We got my fingers in there. We're unplugging this. All right, I don't want right. anyone else registered. <laughs> right. Although I guess we have to change it to the script, right? Yes. We're gonna get rid of the enroll script. We're gonna run the result script, which okay. is the name of the one that actually runs when you're flying. We're just going to compile and upload that one. All right, so, so now... Now you're gonna need to make sure it's powered by the controller. So you need to t turn your controller on. Okay, in order for it to work. so when this control, when I turn the controller on. Yes. Oh, this comes on. Okay, that's really cool. And so we've got little red and green lights here. Okay. So every time you scan, red. No, none for you. No, sir, none. I like this if this works for me. Oh, hey, look at that, how go. cool. Okay, so then now when this is green and I flip the switch to armed, That'll send my arm signal. You yes. get the little beep. And then if I want to lock someone out again, third position. Okay, so that resets it. Yes, mm -hmm. third position resets. All right, so I'm gonna bind this radio to my flippy floppy machine. Yes. And let's get out and see how well this actually works. Absolutely, let's do it. Plug it in downtown. Whoa. Is it, is it bad to say downtown? I guess. Why? I couldn't say it. Who said, I, I who said, said junk in the it? trunk, I said downtown, and then Chad. Who's censoring you? Chad. Chad says you can't say downtown? Yeah, I'm cuffed, man. <laughs> I'm cuffed out here. You can say whatever you want here. Let's go! Let's go! So I want to test this thing out. So we should be all set up now. If I put this down into my arm position, okay, nothing actually happened there. But then if I just go here. Oh. Hey, oh, there it is. That's so satisfying too with the beep and everything. <laughs> okay, but then, so now, so the middle position, still green. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Okay, but if I go all the way up, click, click. Oh, we turn red again. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Time to rip. Yep. Nice.
or can I perch it? Oh, are you big enough? I'm gonna perch up top on top of this thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, I heard it. I heard and it. And I flipped it twice, so we're red again. Uh huh. All right, so I'm just good. I can just leave this. Yeah, set it down. No one can fly it. You know, I kind of want to fly your uh, drone, Drew. Go for it. You think I can fly it? You knock yourself out. Ah, I can't. I can't get in, Drew. You got nothing. I got nothing. This is my quad. <laughs> no, I hope it, this actually works. Because if I'm just stuck on top of a light pole. Yeah, that would suck. That would be not a wise. <laughs> that would that would be a, a bad time for you. This. We would just leave and go back home. <laughs> oh, it. oh, right in the middle. Oh, hold on. I didn't do it good. Uh oh. Why aren't you working? <laughs> oh no! Hey, oh, there okay. it is. It's the goggles. You just gotta take the goggles. All out. right, the props are spinning now. <laughs> okay. Reset. So That's I don't cool. know if you want to reset your fingerprint while you're uh, perched somewhere. Yeah. That because because it was acting up a little bit. Well, I guess let's see. If I only did one click, then it shouldn't reset, right? So I just do one click. Yeah. And should. then now I should just be able to boom, rearm, no problem. Hey. Hey yo. That's pretty sick. So what is, okay, if all goes well, how quickly can we actually disarm it and rearm disarm it? Disarm and rearm it with a full fingerprint okay. in the goggles. Disarm, go all the way down, hit the thing. Ooh, Ooh. it takes a minute, man. All right, let's Yeah, see. and you gotta get your finger just right on it, too. Okay, so. I mean, so the ultimate test is, can you fully hard disarm it yeah. and then rearm it with the fingerprint? The main time? thing is getting the fingerprint dead in the middle. Yeah and hope for the best. <laughs> Disarm, reset, Rearm. go down. Got Let's it. go. You just gotta be really fast. This is the new drone trick. Every drone trick has been found and documented, so the new thing is just introducing, introducing more new, failure more, points. More failure points, <laughs> make it harder to succeed. <laughs> Think you can do it though? I mean, I'm concerned that if I mess up, then like, what are you gonna lose? <sighs> My drone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe that is a lot. Don't mess up. You got ice in the veins, baby. All right, so disarm, reset, arm position, rearm. Ooh, okay. that was clean. That was pretty quick. Okay, I think you can fly it in the air and disarm it and rearm it. Oh, man. I believe in you. Okay, so if I don't reset it, we can dead duck it. So let's see, we go up high. There we disarm, go. Disarm, oh. rearm, oh. saved it. Oh, That's the old sweet. wild willy Randall roll. So if I like went up and started rolling and then Disarmed, we're disarmed, uh, oh, rearmed, no. woo, safe. Oh, good. Okay, so now what I would actually have to do, get some elevation. Yeah, yeah, get some, oh, you're going way up, uh, way up town. Oh, lots of time. Lots of time. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point it down so I can see. All right, we okay. are fully disarmed. Uh-oh, arm it. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we got it, we Let's got go. it. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, no. I was genuinely worried for you. I couldn't tell. <laughs> the props didn't stop spinning. You almost the felt props... like your finger was like twitching. <laughs> did, did you see on the thing, did it actually turn red? Yeah. Oh, the props didn't stop spinning, which oh. I was like, did it just, I didn't know what happened, but I think just the, the whoosh of it, we'll have to hear it. it yeah. Was, that was, that was terrifying. I saw it on my screen, it said disarmed, but I'm like, why are the props <laughs> still spinning? Yeah. Oh, windy okay, we got it. It's windy up there, huh? It's a little windy. Yeah. No, oh, you didn't make that gap. Uh, I wanted that gap. You like shopping at the gap? Gap's rejecting me. Because <laughs> we don't have jeans in your size. <laughs> oh. You're too large. Come on. I'm just going to suck it in. Uh. <laughs> oh. I fit, but it too, much, uh, too much uh, junk no, in the trunk, huh? I want a nice drone. Gap's still around. Why do I suck at drones, huh? I, I heard you were good at drones. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I bounced off the old Navy, too. There it is.
say. Like a pro drone pilot at work. He's he's a professional. He's good. At, he's good as what he good. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he real good. <laughs> Thought I was about to witness a splatter. I just wanted drone parts all over the I ground. I was worried that was gonna happen too because it really wasn't feeling like I was like, oh no. Because <laughs> your finger when I was recording it. I was it, twitching. It was like I was, it was I was like very scared. Missing. I didn't want to crash. Biometric drone. Uh, this was a pretty tough challenge, and you guys yeah. knocked it out of the park. This I'm glad we really came cool. through for you. I know you uh, really wanted something special, and we decided on this fingerprint thing so no one could get inside your uh, your drone. Yeah, it's a really big problem when you're out there. People are always trying to come up and be like, how far does it go? How fast does <laughs> it go? Can I fly it? High, fast, and no. You know, for a first swag, this looks pretty freaking cool. I really yeah. like the, you know, the plug that you guys integrated. That's a really nice mm -hmm. touch. Yeah, and another thing, Drew, you can do it. You ain't even gotta use it for the remote control. Right. You can slap that puppy on a doorknob, you know? You can slap it on your car if you want, if you're feeling froggy. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I can provide a challenge to make you play with some fingerprint yeah, biometric hey, stuff. Hey, and if you ever need anything else done for us, just let us know. I'm sure Chad would love to hop on What else can we do? We'll have to do retinal scanning goggles Ooh. or DNA propellers or... Um, <laughs> Maybe. Uh, can you can do, like prick the prop with your blood to, to, to oh, get it to spin. Ain't no one getting <laughs> in unless they got your blood. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more crazy off the wall projects, definitely check out the Hack Make Mod Absolutely. YouTube channel. Hopefully we'll be in the description. Yeah, of course. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, make sure you drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment of something like uh, you like Drew's shirt, because I like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Brandon. I'm LaDrib. And we'll catch you next time.